This is part two of the technical diving gas management video series. In this video, we'll be discussing turn pressure, ascent pressure, and rock bottom pressure. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. In open circuit technical diving, gas management begins with the basic rule of thirds. As the name implies, one third of the bottom gas is allocated to go out, one third of the bottom gas is allocated to come back, and one third of the bottom gas is to be held in reserve. The following animation illustrates this concept. To keep things simple, we'll start the dive with 3000 PSI. The dive is started on back gas and with full cylinders. After reaching the bottom, the divers continue their dive. When one third of the gas is consumed, as indicated by 2000 PSI, the divers have reached their turn pressure. They will now return to the ascent point. When the divers reach the ascent point, they will have approximately 1000 PSI or one third of their original gas. At this point, the divers will continue to consume their bottom gas until they reach their first decompression stop and switch gases. This is a primary concern of simple rule of thirds turn pressure approaches. Another method to gas management is to use an ascent pressure approach. With this approach, the rule of thirds will include the gas consumed during the ascent to the first decompression stop. To calculate the ascent pressure, we will first need to determine the gas volume used to ascend from the bottom to the first deco stop. Next, this volume must be converted to pressure based upon our total tank volume. Lastly, this pressure must be subtracted from the usable tank pressure. This leaves us with our ascent pressure. This is the pressure at which we must ascend so that we still have our full reserve on reaching our first decompression stop. Let's begin our animation again. This time we'll be illustrating the concept of ascent pressure. Here we will assume that it will take approximately 250 psi to go from the bottom to the first decompression stop. As before, the divers will descend with 3000 psi in their tanks. When they reach the bottom, they will continue with their dive. At some point in the dive, the divers will turn the dive. While a turn pressure point may still need to be established, what is more important is that the dive be terminated when the ascent pressure is reached. If a turn pressure point is established, it is likely to be shorter than with the regular rules of thirds. When the ascent pressure is reached, the divers will terminate the dive and begin the ascent. Properly executed, the divers will arrive at the decompression stop with a full reserve. The last concept we'll be discussing in this video is what is called the rock bottom gas pressure. This is commonly defined as the amount of pressure required to enable two divers to go from the bottom to the first decompression stop. This is more of an emergency concept than a common gas management practice. Rock bottom gas pressure is usually less than the rule of thirds, so it should generally not be used for routine gas management planning. To calculate the rock bottom gas pressure, you must multiply two times the volume required for a single diver to go from the bottom 
to the first decompression stop. That volume must then be converted to pressure based upon the total tank volume. In order for two divers to safely ascend from the bottom to the first decompression stop, the divers must ascend by the time that pressure is reached on a single rig. Here are our two divers again. This time they're going to practice rock bottom gas management. In this case, the two divers are not going to pay too much attention to any sort of established turn pressure. They eventually make their turn and begin back to their planned ascent point. Unfortunately, they disregard their ascent pressure and continue diving. They eventually reach the ascent point, but by this time, they only have rock bottom gas pressure remaining. At this point, one of the divers runs out of gas. Both divers now ascend on the single rig with rock bottom gas pressure. The divers ascend to the first deco stop as their gauge goes to zero. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching.